Bob, summer is here. That means increased activity. People are out and moving. And along with that, some aches and pains. And this right. is about the common calf strain. Oftentimes from going on a hike you haven't done for uh, months, running, walking. This or is very timely, Brad, because I'm actually having this problem uh -huh. now. So we'll show you exactly how to take care of it in nine seconds. Bob and Brad, the two most famous physical therapists on the internet. Bob, it's funny you mentioned that because actually about six weeks ago, I just start running, getting out of the winter yeah. mode. And the third time I ran, I got a calf strain. I ended up limping home, took it easy. But the number one thing that most people do wrong when they have a calf strain is they start doing something like this. Stretching. Stretching right, right. it. Right. And that's not what you want to do because the muscle has been injured. There's micro tears it's in there. It's trying to heal. Yeah, it's trying to heal. And you're stretching it and you're actually tearing the tissues apart again right. so it's the actually the opposite right you know and i was doing some massage to mine and i was working some things on it and then i remembered ah, this technique the strain counter strain so this is what i did and i noticed a big difference and then i added a little treatment after that we're going to show you that as well to en enhance the, the speed but here's the strain muscle Okay, now what we're going to do is, instead of stretching the muscle, we're going to put it on slack. Complete relaxation, right? Right. So lie, lie down on your bed. Did I get it right? You got it right. Lie, yes. Lie. Make sure you flex the knee all the way. It's important we flex the knee. And then we're going to take the ankle and dorsal or plantar flex it and go down. That puts the muscle on slack. Yep, maximum slack. And then there's one more thing to fine tune it. We're gonna either point the toes inward or outward, depending on how it feels. If you go like this and it feels, you're looking for the muscle to feel comfortable. Right. It's on slack, there's no stress on it, should feel comfortable. Turn in this way, turn in that way, and whichever way feels the best, and it may be just in a neutral position right. where you started. Now, the next thing is very easy, you're just gonna Hold it for 90 seconds to 120 seconds, and you have to time it. Do not do this and count. That's two minutes for the hike plan. Yeah, <laughs> one or one, one point five or two minutes. Okay, so and I always go to 90 seconds. I get my cell phone out and I hit the go and hold it, and you just got to relax. I would have a pillow net if I was doing this, but it right. wrecks my mic. So you're complete relaxed for 90 to 120 seconds. Muscles on complete slack yep. for two minutes. And I did this, and I had a knot that was bothering me, and I was working on it. And this actually released it. Resolves it. it. Yep. Within the next day, I, I noticed a big increase in recovery. Now, when you, you get with your 90 seconds and you're done, you take it off, and you'll slowly lengthen the muscle, muscle right. yep you're not going right. to get up and start running or anything you're going to slowly open it up walk around slowly no aggressive activities you can do a gentle massage on it right after you're done i would not put the massage gun on it yet but after as this gets better that's going to be step number two be, and we're right. going to get into that you can do this more than once a day uh it's not going to hurt anything it's just going to show improvement so uh once it starts feeling better we're going to show you the next step to really accelerate wonderful okay so after things improve and you can start walking without pain then we want you to start walking longer distances don't overdo it listen to your body you can start to jog if you're a runner do a jog walk interval maybe one minute not one back minute to that, yeah bad you're, you're not I'm there not a, okay no, i'm walking um but it's, it called active recovery right and but at this point when you're starting to do this you could start to do more aggressive massage right we want to keep the now it can tolerate right we want to keep the muscles soft and supple so the continued circulation helps uh, keep the muscle relaxed and the healing process is accelerated. And now, Bob, you use a massage gun, right? right? Because your hands get tired right. and, like anybody. And Especially on the calf, it's a tough muscle. Mm -hmm. I mean, so. I do, my Bob uses this head. He'll show right. you in a minute. I, I use like this big round one. Round it's head, a right. little less aggressive. Uh, and you might want to start with this and progress. Right. Bob, do you want to show what head, you do? Sure. So it comes with six heads. And you can find this at Walmart. 
and it's actually at 500 stores listed below in the link. Um, not every store has it, but I go along the fibers of the muscle. You Ma can yeah, maybe we should the show leg. some leg there so we can really see that there we go. where you're getting into the skin. It's exciting. Watch me. Yeah. So, and you find that you normally have like one area in particular yeah, that's tight. Yeah, find the spot. Yeah, and I had exactly the same thing, and I think most people will. Oh, you, oh. I'm handed to you. Oh, okay. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, there. Look at that. Turn right off. I'm gonna put this big head on there. Oh. You can also order from Walmart.com. What? What are you running a commercial I here? Yeah. <laughs> E19. Yeah. Actually, it is a nice gun. I, I personally tested this thing out very aggressively. It's an excellent gun. See, now, if I get in too deep here, it hurts. So if I'm going to go down and I'm going to work it there, and sometimes you can work it at an angle, which is a little trick that only yeah, we... Not as, ag as aggressive. Yep. Yeah. So you can go like this or deep in, whatever right. works. You don't want to produce sharp pain and uh, you know irritate the snot out of it. You just want to work it day by day. Boy, it really feels good down here, Bob. Wow. wow. Holy mokers. Oh. That's your problem area, apparently. You yeah. might have a little tendonitis. Oh, yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm feeling good now from that. I'm going to okay. turn this thing off. Uh, the other option, uh, again, hand massage. Your hand, Do it until your hands get tired. I uh, Take a break so you until don't. Until you get carpal tunnel syndrome. Right. <laughs> you can use the old, if you oh, have one well, of these I'm... around, they work. Uh, and you're just going to work on it like this. And, you know, spend a minute or two on that. Make sure you rotate so that you get... You can start one leg. Yeah. I mean, not leg on top of leg. Yeah. So I'm doing both. Not so aggressive. This You'll feel it. It's right. clearly more aggressive. And roll till you get that tender spot. Yeah. Yep. It's a whole muscle. So one way or another, I know my calf uh, became very... Uh, accelerated healing when I started the contract relaxed and went on to the massage and I'm back to running now and I'm feeling fantastic. Great. All right. I never know which camera to look at. They're <laughs> pointing at me and I, I'm a little slow. Thank you. Sorry. I mean, whatever.